Hi students, this is Alex here. In this problem, we are going to prove if row 1 and row 2 are the radii of curvature at the extremities of the focal chord of a parabola whose semi lattice rectum is L, then we are going to prove this expression. We are going to take the general form of the parabola, this is the horizontal axis and vertical axis. Let us take a parabola which is opened on the right side. So, this equation is y square equal to 4ax. This is our focus. Its point is a comma 0. And if I take a chord passing through the focus and perpendicular to the axis, it is called as a focal chord. And this is the lattice rectums totally 4a. So, here half will be above x axis 2a, half will be below x axis 2a. So, total is 4a. So, each part is semi lattice rectum that is L. Now, this coordinate let us take it as a which is a comma 2a because this is from the distance a and the vertical length is 2a. In the same way, we have the another point, another end which is a comma minus 2a, minus because it is below the x axis. Now we are going to find the row 1 and row 2 and we are going to prove this expression. So here the semi lattice rectum is L. So the total length of the lattice rectum is 4a and since it is semi lattice rectum we have to take half of that. So L is 2a in this case. Now we are going to differentiate the equation. So 2y dy by dx will be 4a. Now dy by dx from this will be 4a by 2y. After cancelling this, we get dy by dx as 2a by y. Now its second differentiation d square y by dx square generally 1 by x differentiation is minus 1 by x square. So here we have 1 by y. 2a is a constant which we keep as it is 1 by y will become minus 1 by y square as per this formula. And again y differentiation is dy by dx because we are differentiating with respect to y. Sorry x. Now this dy by dx we have to replace 2a by y. So the second differentiation d square y by dx square will become minus 2a by y square into 2a by y. So finally this is minus 4a square by y cube. Let us write the formula for the radius of curvature which is 1 plus dy by dx whole square then whole power 3 by 2 then whole division d square y by dx square. So this is 1 plus dy by dx. The value is 2a by y. But we are going to put dy by dx whole square. So 4a square by y square. So 4a square by y square whole power 3 by 2 and the second derivative will be minus 4a square by y cube. Since it is negative, we have to take, sorry, minus 4a square by y cube. Since it is negative, we have to take modulus to make it as positive because radius of curvature cannot be negative. Now, we are going to take LCM for this. So, the LCM is y square. So, the numerator part we get y square plus 4a square and we take this power 3 by 2 separately for numerator and denominator. This y cube we can multiply it here and the remaining 4a square is there. We ignore the minus because there is a modulus. Now, 
we can cancel this 2 and 2, this is y cube and y cube. So rho, the radius of curvature is y square plus 4a square whole power 3 by 2 whole division 4a square. So we got the radius of curvature, but I have to find the radius of curvature at each end of the focal chord that is a comma 2a and a comma minus 2a. So now rho 1 which is nothing but rho at a comma 2a. Wherever x and y are there we use this point but we have only y. So y is replaced as 2a. So it is y square. So 4a square plus 4a square whole power 3 by 2 divided by 4a square. So the numerator it is 8a square but we have power 3 by 2. Let us take separately for this and separately for this. So that we can cancel this and we have 4. So this 4 can be written as 2 square and a square. So now the numerator is a cube. So we cancel this. So remaining is a. This 8 is 2 cube power 3 by 2 into 2 power minus 2. I have taken this term to the numerator and we have a. Now we are going to group the powers. So row 1 will be 2 power 9 by 2 minus 2 into a. 9 by 2 minus 2 after taking LCM 9 minus 4 by 2 which is 5 by 4 sorry 5 by 2. So row 1 will become 2 power 5 by 2 into a. We got row 1. In the same way we have to get the expression for row 2. So row 2 is row at a comma minus 2a. Since we have y square term, so y is positive or negative, we are going to get the same value. It is a comma minus 2a. But here we have y square. Even if I put minus 2a whole square, it will become plus 4a square. Again the same calculation will come. So row 2, what will happen is same expression we get. 2 power 5 by 2 into a. So we got row 1 and row 2 separately. Now in the proof we have in the left hand side row 1 power minus 2 by 3 plus row 2 power minus 2 by 3. So we take LHS in LHS row 1 power minus 2 by 3 plus row 2 power minus 2 by 3. Now this becomes 2 power 5 by 2 into a. So 2 power 5 by 2 a whole power minus 2 by 3 plus 2 power 5 by 2 into a whole power minus 2 by 3. Both are same terms so we can write 2 times of 2 into 2 power 5 by 2 into a power minus 2 by 3. Now we take this as 2 power 5 by 2 whole power minus 2 by 3 and a power minus 2 by 3. We have taken the power separately for each term because it is a common power. Now here we can cancel this. This is minus 5 by 3. So this is 2 power 1, 2 power minus 5 by 3 and a power minus 2 by 3. Now we are going to combine the powers. So 1 minus 5 by 3 and a power minus 2 by 3. So this is 2 power 3 minus 5 which is minus 2 by 3 and a power minus 2 by 3. We can make it as a common power. So this is 2a whole power minus 2 by 3. But in the question they have given the semi lattice rectum that is only 2a that is represented as L. So this 2a is L which we can replace. This becomes L power minus 2 by 3. So we have taken the LHS we got the RHS L power minus 2 by 3. So 
we have taken the LHS and we got the RHS L power minus 2 by 3. So, equal to right hand side. Hence, proof. 